obviously one of the more emotional, powerful moments of this whole thing is you talking about and reliving, I guess, the sexual assault that you went through. I can't imagine, like, did you even, before you started going through your diaries, did you think that that page was going to come up or, you know, when you did get there, what started going through your mind? No, and I didn't. And, and I mean, I had bits and pieces of memories, but I really hadn't been looking back on those experiences. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't just one experience. There was multiple experiences that I, I'm still wrapping my head around. Uh, and in unlocking the tapes and finding these moments where um, these different, you know, these different experiences happen that were so painful. And then the diaries, it, it really, um, it was unlocking so many of these painful experiences. And so in unlocking the joy and the bliss and the love, it was also confronting um, some of those parts of, of my life that I had just locked away. And so for me, it wasn't about the who's and the what's of it. It was really about the forgiveness of the little girl that in some way was, was holding on to this and felt like she had to lock it up forever. I wonder if that has informed maybe conversations with your own, your own kids. Yeah. I know you have teenage daughters now. It has it to be really, getting to really a point has. where you're talking about it. Yeah, it, it really has. And, and they, they have been such inspirations to me throughout this. And they did research for me on the dock and, and one of them filmed many parts of it. I mean, really they were, they were truly a part of the, the whole experience and it did open up conversations for us to be able to talk openly. Uh, and, uh, and, and I can only speak from my experiences, but yeah. for me with, with my kids, I really wanted to be able to have honest lines of communication and hope that in some way um, this can show them, you know, who their mom was and how it relates to them in their lives and hopefully to connect to others. And my hope is that when people watch this documentary, that they're watching it through the lens of their own lives and, and not just through my life.